All right, so I'm gonna do a hot and fast California wild speckle belly goose. Right here, fresh. Chad Belding from the Fowl Life TV off of one of his hunts. And I'm gonna do this hot and fast today. Um, I'm gonna use the Provider Life, which is a new awesome brand coming. I've got two of the spices that's gonna hit this speckle belly. I've got crosshairs. You can see the ingredients. I've used these already. Um, I've even used, these are aimed towards game, but I've used these on briskets and steaks. All these new rubs coming are freaking awesome. So we've got the crosshairs. Then we got dragon spice. Look at the color of that. Oh man. So what I'm gonna do with this speckle belly is I'm gonna, I'm either gonna spatchcock it or cut it in half, but I'm definitely gonna get the spine out. And it's gonna be hot and fast. That timberline right behind me is gonna be at 500 degrees. So this is gonna cook extremely fast. What I'm trying to do is get that skin right at a high temperature. Uh, but I know if I, if I wait an extra minute past what this needs to be, it's gonna be way overcooked. This is known as the uh, filet mignon of the sky. So just like a filet mignon, if you overcook a filet, it tastes bad. So if you're over medium rare, you're already it's already gonna not taste right. So this I'm shooting for about 125 to 130. Once you start getting over 130 with this particular piece of meat, it's already overcooked and you're gonna start, it's just not gonna be tasting right. So I'm shooting for about 125 to 129-ish on my internal temp of the breast and I'll pull it off and let it rest. So I'm gonna get the prep going on this get that timberline fired up and ready to go and get this cook going. Okay, let's get into this bad boy. So we're gonna take this spine out. Some heavy duty shears will do the job, no problem. And spatchcocking it or just doing halves will speed up the cook time. You can definitely leave it whole like this and you know, fill the cavity but you can add some other flavor that way. But I'm just choosing today to do this hot and fast. You see these cut right through the bone, no problem. There we go. That's what you're looking for. Get rid of that. And what I wanna do, you can see the breastbone Right here, I like to take my knife and score that so I can open this up. So just take a chef's knife, kind of slippery little sucker. Here we go, we got a little score there. And let me just kind of Snap it. Mm. There we go. Now it's kind of opened up there. So push down. There we go. Okay, now we got a spatchcock speckle belly. Now it's just, uh, I'm going to pat this down dry, add a little olive oil, get it seasoned up, and let it rest before it hits the uh, Traeger at 500 degrees. Okay, we got it patted down. I'm gonna go ahead and get some olive oil on both sides. That'll, uh, that'll also help the uh, rub the stick. So my first coat is gonna be the, um, the dragon spice. You can see how vibrant that is. And then we'll go with the uh, the crosshairs over that. I mean, oh man, look at that. Just nice. There we go. Okay, let's get the top side. Also some extra virgin olive oil. Get 
get it all up in the crevices. There we go. If you season about 12 to 16 inches over the top, you'll see it's a nice even um, spread there. If you, if you uh, season too low, it'll be blotchy. So just let it fall, let it fall. So again, that dragon spice, the provider life. And then we'll hit the crosshairs. That mixed up real nice. Just let it rain, let it rain. We're gonna let this sit here for about 30 minutes or so. Let that, um, let the seasoning really get into the meat and into the skin. And we'll go directly on the Timberline 850 at 500 degrees. All right, there we go. Okay, there we go. We, I've been running almost 500 degrees for about 30 minutes. I've waited that long because I want these grill grates extremely hot. Because I'm gonna go skin side down first and then after 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna flip it over and finish it that way. But I want that skin to get right, but I definitely don't wanna overcook it. So let's hit these stainless steel grates. You can see that's nice and hot. So I'm gonna go skin side down. Should get a little sizzle. Oh yeah. There we go. And then in about 10 minutes, I'll flip that back over, I'll finish it off. Here we go, you can see we already got some good color on the bottom side. I'm gonna flip this. Look at that skin. Oh my god. That's what we're looking for. So well now we'll let the heat hit the top of that and finish it off. Okay, we're getting closer. Wanna check that breast meat. Still got about 20 degrees or so to go, getting some awesome color, so I definitely keep in track of this beautiful Provider life. Get it. There we go. Mm. Look at that. Smells awesome. I'm gonna let it rest for about 20 minutes before I get into it. Okay, here we go, the finished product. So this breast hit about 129 degrees internal. It's rested for about 20 minutes. Got the dragon spice and the crosshairs that I got seasoned with. About 30 minutes on the trigger at 500 degrees. Let's get into that breast meat. Mm. Here we go. there mm, that's what we're looking for you want rare to medium rare that's what we're looking for right there that's going to be delicious then we got the uh the legs Just take that knife and smash down look how juicy that is Oh yeah, that's gonna be delicious. Just checking out the meat. Mm. Look at that. Nice little lollipop right there. Okay, California Wild Spuckabelly Goose, 500 degrees on the Traeger. Nice and juicy, that's what we're looking for. Okay, there we go. Finished product, look at the color and the juices. One thing you don't wanna do with this is overcook it like most game meat is extremely lean. As soon as you go past a medium rare on something like this, it's annihilated. So, there we go, just had to get into it. That's the provider life. Let's get it. Mmm.
<laughs> Spuckle Belly is the best. Cheers.